Oh my god, how quick the time goes. I'm already in my third year of nursing school and today is the day I'm resuming. I'm going back to start my third year. We have about uh, one to two weeks of lessons and then we are back in practice. So prepare with me this morning as I get myself ready for uni morning time when I wake up. I always get my, re uh, my bed ready, go for breakfast, you know, do all those stuff before I go to uni. Myself, I drive these days to uni because it's easier so that when, sometimes I close like 4 o'clock or 5 and so when I close it's easier for me to get home like quickly rather than taking two buses. Sometimes I close from my uni and I take bus to the city of uh, Oxford Centre and then I'll take another bus to like sometimes maybe if summer town. So which is like a very long journey. The whole journey should be at least 30 minutes if I drive but if I don't drive I take about uh, about an hour plus to get home which is very stressful sometimes so this is me just getting my bedroom ready and if you watch my last videos i did on my home makeover this is the room i was i was preparing i did the painting wall panelings and stuff this was the time i was on holidays i was off uh uni when i finished my second year and so just got everything like you know <laughs> my bedroom all fresh ready for the winter times as it's in september it gets colder and as you can see from the winter window it look a bit kind of uh, misty not that bright not sunny not as it used to be in the summer when the weather will be looking so beautiful and sunny when you wake up anyway so get prepared with me i'm just putting on my sock going to put on my uh, trainers often when i go to uni i wear like a stockings or something tight underneath my trousers because it's really cold if you go out there i mean it's freezing <laughs> my skin is not good for that you know weather so when i go in there without prepping i'll be like shaking so i always put like some underneath my dress to keep me warm and i'm so looking forward to completing this course and getting you know a full-time good job for myself it's been a bit stressful really really hard combining practice like full-time like work about three days long days combining with my other work that i do part-time job to support myself and all the stress that it comes with i know <laughs> it's not easy it's not easy i've been doing this for the past five years if you want to know more about how i got into nursing in the uk maybe comment below and i will give more details or or maybe guide you because when i came to the uk i did not have the qualifications to start my uh, nursing degree so i had to start it all from scratch started from city of oxford college where i did a level two course health and social care from there i went to do a level three course which was a nursing diploma and so from there i went into the university i got the place in oxford brooks sorry this is just me prepping for my my school as you can see my breakfast i'm preparing my food and all that anyway so and this is the journey now almost three years on and i'm in the third year you know it's not easy at all you have to like be really really strong for this <laughs> anyway so just preparing myself this is my hot chocolate i normally have like a hot chocolate for uh breakfast sometimes in the morning because it's quite a bit cold i want something warm and then my omelette luckily done for me <laughs> <laughs> sometimes i'm really really lucky you know to get someone to, who helps me with all that and then packing my little meal what i do normally when i go to uni i don't buy food because geez the food in the uni is so expensive when i was in college you can buy a whole meal for about two pounds something but in the, this new university you have to spend about five six pounds to get i mean a really good meal to eat which is not really really it's in for me and it might not even be something that i want so sometimes i like to prepare my own things like back home foods that we have beans and stuff gary girl <laughs> anyway so just having my morning pills i have my uh, biotin and then my uh, collagen which i take in the morning before i go sometimes i forget actually so <laughs> when i remember i always take it so just dressing myself up my trainers as i said it's always keep me warm so I always make sure when I dress, I dress up in a way that I'll be warm. When I go, I will not be freezing there because I'm serious, girls. <laughs> you have to go into Oxford and know what I mean by be freezing in the morning. So when I stand up, don't worry, those black uh, stockings underneath there will not show it. Will, my trousers is kind of big, baggy and long, so it will cover it all up. So, you know, that's the secret hiding under. So packing my laptop, when I go, I am going to use my laptop for typing. I'm going to the lecture hall today. I have quite a long lesson, like all day, so I need a very good strong powered laptop to do all this job so this is me almost ready 
<laughs> going to go to my car and anyway i've not actually finished uh, i went back upstairs to put on my uh, jacket and all that to be warm wrap around i also have another jacket in the car should in case i go and it's really cold i change it and put that one on but at the moment this one is just okay for me because i have layers i have like a vest underneath my shirt our lecture hall is always cold i don't know they don't have heating or what i have no idea they don't ever put the heating on anyway so it's always more, more or less cold so this is me almost done nothing nothing fans nothing just dressing up and go really and this is my car key i'm just going to show you my car is down there by the window so i was just looking how it's it's like it's you see the windows it's all like fro like a like all misty all around you can't even see clearly yeah so already going to go my bag is so messy pardon me <laughs> this bag is especially for uni so it's full of lot of messy stuff tissues pencils books charges and stuff this is my anonymous bag <laughs> where i put a lot of things that you don't have to know about anyway as i'm alone sometimes i put my bag next to me my partner always tell me don't be putting your bag next to you it's very dangerous but i still do it my car is all steamed up it's been very cold from the morning that's how it looks it's all steamed up inside so i'm just going to uh just warm it up a little bit and move it's almost 7 30 in the morning i start my class at uh, nine o'clock so if i don't uh, set off now i'll be stuck in traffic because it's quite a very busy road going to oxford from bista so i have to set off now so come with me and let's see how the day will go just walking to my campus which is maston uh, road campus the bigger campus is in uh, headington in the center of uh, oxford so this is uh where, like almost getting to my lecture hall i'm not going to film a lot today as i'm going to focus anyway i've now arrived at uni it took me about an hour to travel because of the lots and lot of traffic so going into my my lecture hall huh? now i've closed from uni going back home i'm walking to where my car is get it and go back stuck myself in traffic <laughs> and i have another uh, lesson tomorrow i have monday to friday normally we have some days in between but today i have monday to friday this week so i need to go relax do my assignment before oh, i'm tired before tomorrow so see you i couldn't film much as i thought i will be able to film because the day was very busy you know when you resume on the first day they load you with so many stuff they are going to give you all the information on what you're going to do for the whole term it's all just got like stuck in my head <laughs> everything is just so confusing when you go the very first day they load you up and you become so stressed so pardon me for that and sorry i couldn't uh, like continue to film a lot more but anyway thank you so much for watching today's video and i will see you in the next ones and lot of diys coming see you bye